Okay, so for our next musical performance at TEDx Boston, we wanted to pick a genre that was originated in America. So please join me in welcoming Philippe Chrétien, performer and professor of jazz, and his very talented student, Casey Berman, who will take us on a journey through jazz. Thank you for uh, having TEDx Boston inviting me and Mr. Berman for inviting me to this conference. Uh, Boston is, uh, of course, you, you, may, you maybe know or maybe not know, it's an incredible historic of jazz here in this city. And um, it's, uh, it's why I came here. I was, I'm French, I'm Parisian. There's a Parisian theme to this conference, it seems to be. And I have to call my nephews and tell them about the chocolate wave because it's exactly the chocolate that I grew up with eating all those years. So it's, they're right on the mark there. It's excellent. Uh, I came here to study jazz because at my time in Paris, there was no jazz education. There was no jazz in the conservatories. It was strictly classical. And um, the history here is, is phenomenal. Berkeley College of Music, NEC, uh, some real thinkers and some real innovators of, of this music. And it still attracts to this day people from all over, all over the world to come here and study this music, this art form, this American art form. So what is jazz, you know? And I think the, this is a tough question to answer, but I think one of the, the, great, the greatest, everybody should bow to him every day, his name is Sir Duke Ellington, said jazz is all music. And I think this is the, probably the best way to summarize what the essence of this music is. It's all music because it's music that's open to all folk music, all influences, and it's a constant, constantly evolving language. So jazz, uh, you know, it's not necessarily just rooted in New Orleans, even though it started there, but at its inception, it was all those influences, all those folk music. And to this day, jazz is so vibrant because it's constantly evolving, and we have to learn and keep up with this, this music. So... Um, you know, what is the specificity, what is so great and what is so thrilling about jazz? It's the art of improvisation. Improvisation, it teaches us to be in the moment and to try to have, to make an artistic statement. And how do we do that? Of course, years of training, you have to learn your scales, you have to learn the language, and this language is constantly evolving. But you have to, in that moment, when you pick up your instrument and you're trying to have a conversation, let go of everything you've learned and try to be in that moment saying some kind of content, something with content, some kind of musical content. And the great thing is that's thrilling. You never know what's going to happen. There's always this abyss of the unknown that is associated with jazz, which makes it the most exciting and addictive part of this music. We try, because we experience those moments of magic, we want to go back there and again and again, but there is no guarantee. So in a way, jazz is not an intellectual process. You train yourself and then you let go and you try to be in the moment and just by that, it's a very spiritual experience. Try to be yourself, try to be creative and musical. The, the amazing thing with jazz is because there's no written music, you have to use the right, si right side of your brain along with the training that you've got. So you're constantly um, innovating. Hopefully, you, you're trying. And I'm going to try to do that with my, uh, my great student, Casey Berman. And my challenge with Casey has always been to try to give him, I always taught him concepts, but immediately in the practice room, Casey would just start fooling around with this, the concepts immediately. So he is a true consummate jazz player, jazz musician, because he's always manipulating stuff and putting information back at me. Oh, what do you think about that? What do you think about that? I never thought about Casey. Uh, you're, you're teaching me. The, the, the student is teaching the, teaching the, 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 the teacher. And that's the, the wonderful thing about this music. So um, the, you know, the, I think the, the greatest thing about jazz education it teaches kids all the skills you need for the 21st century in terms of discipline, humility, focus, and being creative from day one. Anybody can improvise. You need to have that uh, somebody that shows you the way. And this is the, 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 the skills that are necessary because this music is so open, it's global music. And if you train yourself in that 
art of improvising, talking to each other, it changes you inside. And you're open to so many, so many cultures, you travel the world, you meet people, it's an ongoing process. And I think uh, I've seen all the kids that I teach at the River School where I teach, the, the conservatory students, those kids are actually the top scholars in a very uh, high uh, academic demanding school. The musicians, the improvisers, are the top, the, the top scholars. So that's the big lesson about this, this art form. So without further ado, I'm gonna invite my, uh, my great student, Casey, who's graduating and going to NYU, being a jazz major, and we're gonna improvise for you. And again, there's no guarantee we'll succeed, but we'll do our best to play honest music in this moment, one moment's music in one moment's time. That's our challenge and our thrill. Thank you for having us. Thank <laughs> you. 